Hey guys, I thought I would just do a quick little video and show you how I make my breakfast. I have never been a big breakfast eater, ever, but lately I have been trying to make myself some breakfast after I take my morning walk, after I get the kids off to school. So let me show you what I eat for breakfast. What goes into it. This is whole oats. This is chia seeds. This is unsweetened almond milk. This is yogurt. This is my favorite brand of yogurt. I don't know why, but I really, really like this yogurt. Problem with this is it does have quite a bit of sugar. 31 grams of sugar, but I only use half of one of these for my breakfast, and then I make the same thing for Brandon. I use whole unsalted cashews sometimes. I use um, granola, this is my favorite flaxseed and um, sometimes I'll use instead of the cashews I'll do some sunflower seeds or sometimes I'll just leave that out so let me show you here it's like a soup spoon so it's about a tablespoon After, when I get the kids up and they're eating their breakfast I'll do this part you can do these ahead of time too so I'll do three scoops of oatmeal And I'll do one scoop of chia seeds, and that's backwards. I use this little scoop that comes with it. I would assume that's a tablespoon. What does it say? Oh, it does. It says tablespoon. So I put a scoop of the chia seeds in there. <clears throat> and then I take unsweetened almond milk. I just got this from I think Kroger, maybe Walmart, and I fill this up to there. Then this goes in the refrigerator. And then I get all the kids done and I take them to school and I um, come home and I walk the dog. That all takes about an hour and a half, sometimes two hours. So by about 8.30, I come home and I get my jar back out. This is the same jar, but it, all of the oats, it'll be like overnight oats without, um, it's like, basically just plumped up oats and chia seeds and that makes them easier to digest after soaking them <clears throat> and it does some other things too but then what I'll do is I will get my new no noose I don't know how you say it they have many different kinds of these they say it's one serving per container but um, it's an eight ounce cup is that right yeah so I'll open this up hold on <laughs> I'm ready to set you guys. So I open this up and I've already made Brandon his. <clears throat> and I stir up the yogurt and I will usually get a bowl <coughs> for myself. I'll scoop out half of the yogurt before I put anything else in. And I put half of this in my bowl and half back into the leftover yogurt in here. Then what I do is I add um, a little bit of this, probably about a teaspoonful, to my bowl and to Brandon's yogurt. So let me show you what that looks like. So that's the oatmeal and chia seed that has been soaking in almond milk, the yogurt, and about maybe a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of the flax. And then I'll put the lid back on this and put it in there for Brandon. And I like the tart cherry kind. I like the raspberry kind. I'm going to try the honey. And I'm going to try the cinnamon. But then what I'll add to it, to my bowl, and he'll do this when he gets up, is I put about two tablespoons of the, um, shoot, granola. And then what I do with the cashews is I have these little ramekins. <clears throat> Hold on. So I feel... I put about that much cashews in there 
and then I just kind of crush them. Like that. Or you could just chop them up, or you could get cashew peaches, pieces, it doesn't matter. So then this will get sprinkled on top with about two tablespoons of the granola. And that's my breakfast.